Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 17 amazing iPhone tricks that you probably didn't even know existed. Now, I didn't know a lot of these myself. I have discovered them, most of them recently, and they are pretty cool. And of course, you should know that you can do them on your iPhone. So most of them can probably be performed on a lot of iOS versions like iOS 12 and iOS 13 of course as well. Some of them might have been here for a long time but we just didn't know about them. So here are 17 iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. Starting off with the first one, this is an amazing trick in the Safari app. So of course you're browsing the web, you tap a link on Safari and it will open that link on that same tab. But there is a hidden trick that will allow you to easily open any link you want on a new tab so all you gotta do is just tap with two fingers on any link and as you can see right there it will open it on a new tab just like that just use two fingers tap on any link and it will immediately open that link on a new tab now this one is pretty cool as well this one is on the maps app now of course on the maps app you can double tap with one finger to zoom in on a map just like that just double tap and you will always keep like zooming in on a map but what if you want to zoom out double tap with two fingers so just like that double tap and it will zoom out as easy as that you can zoom in and with two fingers to zoom out on the maps app there is a pretty cool trick on the phone app now if you have like an, a number entered right there on the phone app on the dial pad right here what you can do is force touch on that green button and then it will give you more options that allow you to call FaceTime audio or FaceTime video. If you have like an email on that contact, it will also show you email options. So just enter the number right there at the top, force touch on the green button, and it will give you all the options for that contact. There is another trick on the phone app. If you go to the contact section and you search for a contact, you don't have to actually tap and go into that contact. All you gotta do is just force touch on the result right there and it will give you all the different options that you can perform with that contact. Like you can message, call here, you can see on WhatsApp, you can video on WhatsApp, you can email them. Basically this menu right here will be different based on what information you have about that contact but you don't even have to go to the contact just force touch on it and you can perform all these different actions on the calendar app there is a very very easy way to create a new event so you're on the calendar all you gotta do is just go to a date where you want to create that event and all you gotta do is just force touch on any clock right there so you can see here we have the time you can force touch right there and you can add like an event just drag it like this you can see right there the hour as it changes and you can add it right here just as simple as that you can go ahead and easily create a new event now when taking a look at the calendar you will see all of course there are a ton of like holidays and all that stuff but if you want to filter your calendar to show just like the holiday dates all you gotta do is just tap right there at the top and as you can see it will switch to the calendar of the holiday so it will only show you holidays right here so that's really really awesome you can see that button right there just tap and as easy as that you will only see the days where there is holiday. When taking a screenshot on your iPhone, there is a really cool way in which you can like basically focus on a part of the screenshot. So all you gotta do is just tap the plus button right there. Let me just press that. And then you will have this that says magnifier right there. Tap on the magnifier and it will add this like circle right here. You can use like that blue dot to, to make it bigger or smaller. And then you can also go ahead and zoom in and out like this. And of course you can move it anywhere on the screenshot you want. So let's say you want to like focus on something on the screenshot. You want to tell someone something like let's focus here on the files app. You can just do it like that. And of course, then you can go ahead and save that as a picture on your photos app. Now with iOS 13, Apple has added like link previews. That's a new feature. So basically on any app, you can force touch on a link and it will show you a preview of that link. Now what you can do right now with iOS 13 is that once it shows the preview link, all you gotta do is just tap on that preview and it will immediately go ahead and open it on the Safari app. So you see a link you're interested in, all you gotta do is just tap like that and it will open it on the Safari app. On the Safari app on iOS 13, and this can be done on iOS 12 as well, if you're searching for a number like a company or anything like here, I'm searching Verizon, now it will show me the number 
of that company. I want to contact them. I don't have like to copy this number or write it down anywhere. Just here on the Safari app, just tap on the number and it will show you all the options right here. So you can go ahead and call them directly from here. And also it will show you the live agent right there. And it says verify, that's a verified number for Verizon. So you can perform all these actions directly from the Safari app. So you search for a number, you find the number, you don't have to copy it and just then enter the number on the phone app. You can do it directly from Safari. On the mail app, you have the swipe options. Basically, you can like easily just like this, archive any email, or if you swipe like this, you can move it or delete it, or you will have more right there. But you can also customize these options. So all you gotta do is just go to the settings, go to the mail settings, and you will find here swipe options. And you will have here swipe left and swipe right. So here I have archive, swipe right. I can go ahead and change that. So you can change that based to anything that you prefer to have there. So you can quickly perform that action. You can have your favorite action right there. On the email app, you can quickly access your drafts. Now, of course, you can go to the drafts like folder right there. But if you're on any other folder, on any folder on the email where you have the new email button, all you have to do is just tap and hold that button and it will show you the option to start a new message. And it will also show you your drafts right there, which of course you can go ahead and pick them up from here. So basically anywhere on the mail app where you have the new mail button, just tap and hold it and it will give you the option to access quickly your mail drafts. There is a very cool feature on the mail app that some of you might not even notice. So if you go into an email, so you have a list of emails that you have to read. So you go into one of them, you want to read the second one, of course, you go back, you go to the second one. But if you take a look right there at the top, you will have those arrows. One of them will move you to the next email the other one to the previous email. So as easy as that, you can move between different emails without having to go back to the inbox folder. So directly from here, you can switch between different emails. On the notes app, you can pin notes to the top. So of course, you can go ahead and force touch on it and you can tap on pin notes. You can also just swipe like this and as easy as that, you can go ahead and pin any note you want at the top. So you can swipe like all the way like this to pin and unpin a note really quickly. If you go to the month section on the photos, all photos album on the photos app, on the new photos app on iOS 13, you can easily create a movie out of all your pictures of that month. So just tap on the three dots right there and you can tap play. And what it does is that it will create actually a movie out of all of those pictures and you can have them right here. And of course, you can also go ahead and add like different moods to it. You can change basically how it looks, add in different moods right there. So pretty, pretty amazing. Just with one click, you can go ahead and create an awesome movie out of your memories of the last month. On the voice memos app, of course, you will have your recordings right here, which by default are named new recording one, new recording two, all that. But you can, of course, go ahead and rename them. So all you gotta do is just double tap on the name right there. You can go ahead and rename that recording to anything you want. So just go ahead, double tap on any name right there and just delete it. And you can go ahead and add any name that you want. On the files app on iOS 13, you can easier move like files simply by dragging them. So all you gotta do is just drag them just like you drag the icons on the home screen when you want to, did, to edit the layout of your home screen and you can move it anywhere you want on a folder or you can just simply put it on a new folder. Just like that, you can go ahead and just place it on a new folder. So just drag and drop the files anywhere you want to move them. On Safari, when you have a tab open, you can go ahead and force touch on the bookmark icon right there and then it will give you a few options. Of course, you can add that as a bookmark, but it will also give you the option to add bookmarks for all the tabs that are open in the background or add them to the reading list. So just like that, you can have all of those options. So you tap and hold right there on the bookmark icon. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 17 actual iPhone tricks that probably a lot of you guys didn't even know existed. I didn't know most of them myself until now. I have discovered them in the past few days. I was just like, just looking around on my iPhone, trying to find different tricks and new features, of course. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.